Hi, I'm Michelle Pusateri. I am the maker and creator of Nana Joe's Granola. We actually won a Sophie Award for our Swell Grain Free Granola Bar. We have been in business since 2010 with the premise and the mission statement of bringing back whole food ingredients into packaged food, which has been a huge, huge thing for us. Uh, we are located in San Francisco, so most of our stores and our distribution is in San Francisco. We're in 270 stores throughout the Bay Area. We're in a lot of corporate accounts. We do food service, as well as we have some stuff at the airport. And we are online at nanajoes.com if you want to try our product, if you don't get a chance to do it at the Fancy Food Show. And we are also on Amazon. So what made you create this? Like, what's the emphasis? So the emphasis is really, um, I started having some health problems, like a lot of food package companies. And I wanted to have a granola that wasn't packed with a lot of sugar in it. So we decided to do maple syrup sweetened from the beginning, and we've never used any refined sugar in our product. And now we're non-GMO verified. We're all organic ingredients. Uh, most of our products come farm direct. So our maple syrup comes from Catskill Mountain Sugar House. Our almonds comes from Kashiwasi. I could go on and on forever about where our products come from. That is, that is so awesome. Um, what's the great thing about today, and for like people like yourself, you have a great success story. Yeah. That you're creating something because there's a need. Yeah, there's, I think there's definitely a need for whole food ingredients and packaged food. I think the packaged food industry kind of went in the wrong direction a little bit, and, and it became a price point battle on who could sell what instead of actually looking at the product integrity and the ingredients that were inside. And a lot of the additives and fillers and preservatives have caused a lot of harm to our bodies, I think. And not, I'm not saying that it's not bad and you can indulge whenever you want, but I think eating on a regular day basis is, is pretty bad for you and, and kind of steering away from vegetables and whole food ingredients. And we kind of reintroduced healthy fats back into the diet the last couple of years, which has really helped a lot of people, I think, with, with their weight issues, with their foggy brain issues, with their skin, with their hair, with everything. I mean, we need healthy fats. So I think that's super important. And I am, I am so glad to be a part of this trailblazing community. And I hope that, you know, 10 years from now, we're not asking the same question about why aren't there more whole foods and packaged food. I think we were taught to bargain shop for our food. And when you want whole food ingredients in food, you can't bargain shop. You have to actually pay the money and you're actually going to be full longer than you are with a bag of chips. So it, it actually works out. It does. I think you spend the same amount of money. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. And you look better. I mean, I'll be 47 in July. You look awesome. Thanks. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You are the one that's creating the revolution. Yeah. I think there's a lot of us here. There's a lot of us here. Like, Grandy Oates down there, he's been doing it since 2008. I had no idea. Yeah. Getting that recognition that he deserves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for You're welcome. helping the whole industry evolve. You're very and welcome. Once again, what's your website? Uh, nanajoes.com. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Everybody get Nana Joes, okay? Yes, please. Okay. Try it out. All right. <laughs> We're here at the Fancy Food Show, and Nana Joes actually won a Sophie Award today, uh, Silver 2018. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, take it out, and I'll be right back.